Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can apply damage to the character whenever you want. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember from last video I did talk about collision and collision events a lot. And in here we want to use the hit event to cause damage to our player. So let's find out how we can do that. For example, this box, okay? Whenever our player collide with it or hit his head with it, it will take damage, okay? So for doing that, you can see that um, in here we default it's set to physics actor and it block everything. More importantly, pawn class. Okay, so or my character is type of pawn. And if you click on this capsule component in collision, in collision you can see that the object type is pawn. If you don't know about object type, what they are, please watch my last video about collision and collision events. And can here you can see that a sphere in here again, its object type is set to pawn. Okay, so whenever pawn collides with this box it will block it and if you check this head event check checkbox in here it will generate a head event okay so for getting this head event we can create a blueprint class for this box for example how we can do that if you click on this button in here you can see it if you hover over it it says convert this actor into a reusable blueprint class that can be can have a script behavior so click on it and first you should set a name for example, I want to say BP because a blueprint class of this for this uh, box and I want to call it for example box damager okay and the path I want to just save it on my class folder and hit select in here and it will create that blueprint class for us if you go to your content drawer you can see this BP box damager is no here okay and if you double click it it will open it like this in here now if we go to event graph in here let's just delete everything in here we don't need any of them if you right click in here and go to add event in collision just select this event hit it will create this event hit for us okay this event hit will trigger whenever something collide with this box damager that is blocked by this box damager okay so you can see if we play this game now if we collide with this you can see uh, it hits its head to this um, box you can see it it can't overlap with it it can hit it okay so these two blocking each other the player and this box block each other okay so it will whenever we hit we hit it or push it or whatever we collide with it it will generate a hit event okay so with that whenever something collide with it it will generate a hit event and we can have it like this and what we should do we should just drag and drop from this execution pin and say apply damage and it says which actor you want to damage in this example we want to damage whatever actor that is colliding with this box damager in this example this other so this other is the actor that is colliding with this box damager so we can just connect it to this damaged actor okay and this event it gives us a lot of information like uh, for example this other comp it will give you the component of that actor that is colliding with this box damager for example this hit location it will give you the exact location where the player or whatever that is blocked by this box damager where exactly it's hitting the box damager and this hit normal it will give you the angle that the player hit this box damager okay so that was it for event hit so with this it will apply damage to aware actor that is colliding with this box damager and how much of damage you want this actor to take damage you can set it in here for example 10 okay so whenever our player uh, collide with this box damager it take 10 points of damage but we are not done so let's just save and compile and go to our character and here in character select this capsule component and right click in here and add an event go to game damage and select this event any damage okay let's just zoom, zoom in and whenever and wherever this applied damage happen this event any damage will be triggered okay you can find it by just searching for damage and this event any damage will pop up and you can select it okay so whenever our character collide with this box damager we want to take some damage and you can see in our character class we create a health variable that is float and the default value is 100 okay so let's just get that value because we want to minus this value by amount of damage that be this box damager caused us okay so whatever you put in this base damage in here will be here in this damage as well okay so with that we can add a subtract node in here and we, we can subtract the health by this damage and after that we can set health okay 
with this set health node we can set the health for this health variable okay so what we have done we just decrease our health by amount of this damage with this subtract node and we set the health in here okay so after that let's just print the health okay print a string and with that we can just print the health and now let's just compile and run to see what will happen if we collide with this and you can see it top left corner it will decrease our health and it will show it to us okay so you can see it will go to negative value so what we can do about that so let's just delete this and what i want to do in here i want to check if the health is less than zero so how we can do that we can search for less or equal node in here and we check if the health is less than zero give it to the branch node and let's just connect this set in here every time we set the health we check if the help is less than zero and if it's less than zero just just destroy this actor okay by this destroy actor node and if it's not less than zero just print the health okay print the string and in here we can just connect this help from here but we can get it from here so it will be more readable our blueprint should be readable right so with this let's just organize everything so it will be beautiful okay that we can compile save and no run over game and whenever we hit box we take damage and you can see it at top left corner and if we reach zero it will destroy the player and you can see it works fine now that we are finished with this apply image let's just comment it out click select all of them right click and create the comment in here change the comment to taking damage and that's all you need to do for damaging character hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye